What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Masters of Magic Magic Modern Guild Pack draft. Close enough. And um, today, thanks to a very very sweet uh, follower on uh, on Twitch here who got a hold of me through Twitter, which I don't actually use a tremendous amount anymore. Uh, our Charles. Thank you so much for this bad boy, which I'll be using, hopefully, quite regularly. That sounds good. That sounds good to be using that guy. That's a funny dude. Kobux, what's going on? Glad you can catch the stream live. Oh, there it is. That's the dude. I got excited. It's only like, Ral's only like three tickets, I bet. Oh, he's like six. Well, I mean, we're taking Ral, no matter what, so. Yep, that's a good one. This is what I have to say about that. And we're going to take that Ral. Boop! And hopefully that Beacon Bolt comes back. I've actually seen Beacon Bolt's table before, so maybe people are going to be like, well, I don't like is it, so I'm not going to play that. There's also a Command the Storm in there, so that could be good. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anything can happen, ladies and gentlemen. It's a wacky, wild world. Sultai splashing red sounds about right. You said Ral, I said red, but they're both they both fulfill the same. It's the same thing. So, So we got Goblin Crater Maker. Hypothesis is probably the pick, right? That's a good one. I mean, I think Crater Maker is great. It's a 2-2. It kills a thing. But then you have to sacrifice it. So it basically doesn't. What, is he, what are you even doing? I'll just take the Hypothesis. That's one of the premier commons in this archetype, I would say. Oh, a beam splitter mage. Oh, a sinister sabotage as well. See, I got real excited about this card, but I don't think I don't get that excited over cancel unlimited. So I think I get excited because this is one of the again premier counter spells in standard right now, um, similar to like disallow. But I don't know if I'd get that excited over disallow either. So whenever you cast an instant or sorcery that targets only this, if you control one more of the creatures that it could target, choose one of those. Yeah, so that's not bad. Chew with your mouth closed, mage? I don't get it. Oh, bean spitter. I get it. See, that's funny. See, that's funny now that you... Now that you say it. Now that you... Now that I read things. I'm gonna take it. I think it's fine. What up, Chris? Oh, and then we get an Electromancer? Alright. Well, they're just handing this deck to us. Although there's a Luminous Bonds and a Ledev Champion, but... I have no reason to get off the Izzet train. <sighs> Daniel, what's going on, buddy? 11 months, I'm getting so old, Dad. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, that's true. Sometimes your children grow up so fast. When are we going to sail the seas? Hey, listen. How can we get Chris to go to, to, go to BlizzCon again? Let's make it happen. Plague Crafter, Wall of Mist. Ugh, this Wall of Mist could be fine, I guess. Going off the rails on an is it train. It could just be Plague Crafter and then we're just Demir. I think Plague Crafter is better than both of these, so I'll just take that. Just watch the Gate Chromatic Lantern deck on the YouTube. The Gate Chromatic Lantern. Is that a limited deck? Good lord, we get so I there's so many drafts that happen that I get I get confused. I I just get real confused. I'm going to take this Book's Devourer. I don't think it's Dazzling Light. There's a lot of good green cards. Canopy, Generous Stray, and Iron Beetle. There's a lot of 
Golgari thing. Maybe we can get him to Portland for the GP and decide. I imagine Chris is 100% going to the, to GP Portland. 100,000%. Maximize velocity seems good when we have Beam Splitter Mage. So, I'll take it. We can also discard it to Hypothesis for value. I just wanted to say your ability to draw poorly is prodigious. Thank you so much. Hey, listen. If you can't change the way you draw, you might as well embrace it, right? Oh, it just started raining. Hold on. I like opening the window when it rains so I can actually see the rain, for one. And also, uh, just predict when my... Wow, another World Soul Colossus and another Crushing Canopy. I will take this. Is it land? I guess Dazzling Lights is. No, it's pretty bad. Could take Boros Guild Gate just to the hedge. We could also take Street Riot. I don't think Street Riot's very good, especially in this archetype. Eh, it's probably just four mana crab. It protects Ral, which is just fine with me. I'm probably not going to play two maximized velocities. Oh, none of these cards are any good. I guess we're just Jess guy. Jess guy. Oh, we're just Jess guy. Uh, lock it. Pop it and lock it. I guess we're just five colors. Ooh, it's coming down, boys. I can't believe how dangerous this hurricane was. Yeah, we are not even close, though. Oh, a chance for glory. Not the mythic we want, but okay. Two sworn companions. Could take this Night Vale Predator and be real hard, hard Grixis. It is the best card in this pack, and it's not particularly close. We also have a Plague Crafter we could utilize. I think it's probably the pick, to be honest with you. None of our red is really double, so we can actually splash the Boros. Not splash, but like it'll be our light color. The frustration is palpable. Your handle with humor makes a good content. I think we all get frustrated. Yeah, I appreciate you saying so, because sometimes I do think I get a little hard. But then whenever I go back and look, I'm like, hey, I really feel like I didn't handle it that poorly. So it's, it's always nice to have that reinforced. Um, especially because I do feel like it happens quite frequently. I'm going to take the Nightfield Predator. Ritual of Smut. It's actually soot. Oh, a Deadly Visit and a Takedown, huh? Well then. Well then. Put this guy back in here. I don't love Ritual of Soot, but it could be a blowout. I think Artful Takedown's a little easier on the mana. If we're going to take Deadly Visit, we'd probably just take Ritual. I think we're just taking Artful Takedown here. A high and swoopy? What is that even? What are you even saying right now? Oh, another Electromancer? That's pretty good. I'll take that guy. Command the storm. Okay. I'll command it. Another Electro... Alright, maybe third... Maybe it's three Electromancers. Thank you. Hmm. Dim Shadow, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Or the regular sub, I guess. Man. Looks like a regular sub. Felt like a resub. I think it's Command the Storm. Burgly Rat. Ornery Gorblin. Radical Idea is good, but we don't actually have... Um, we don't have a very heavy... Spells Matter deck right now. I could just take the Rat. We could just be like Card Advantage Powerful Cards dot deck. Urchin? What's Urchin? What's an urchin? Oh, this guy? I actually don't like this 1-3. I, I don't really care about this guy that much. It's weird. I didn't know this guy's name was Fire Urchin. <laughs> I like the rat, so I just want to card advantage my opponent out. 
I like the rat better than the goblin in this deck. I'm going to take the rat. Oh, we're going to take the Demir Guild Gate here. That's what we want. Yeah, we're just going to be Grixis. Oh, is it Locket? All right. That's actually very playable for us. Whisper Agent? Okay. Leapfrog? Okay. Leapfrog is just a, a, a Bartizan Bats for one less mana, right? Eh, I'll just take Wall of Mist. It's a fine sideboard card. There's definitely matches where I bring that in. The rat is confirmed good enough for standard. Yeah, I know. I saw some. I saw someone posted a deck yesterday, and it had four burglar rats in it. Can you imagine? A standard deck, no less. What a time to be alive. Right, Monster. Oh, Demir lock it? Oh, all right. We're just going to be locking it, popping and popping and locking it up. I always think I like, like, I like Book Devourer. I like the promise of Book Devourer. It's a 4-5 in red with Trample for 6. So it's a good value. And it has a cool ability where you can discard your hand. But then it's like, I never, it's, it never makes the cut. It's very interesting. Quacker2000, what's up, buddy? What are you saying? What's wrong? Is everything okay? Look at this. Look at this fire urchin came back. What up, Stormcrow? I don't actually hate this as a... Oh, risk factor. That feels like a card we want. It's also like... Four tickets, so I can't really justify passing. I don't actually think there's anything better in this pack either. That's a good card. That's a pretty easy pick. Oh, a Crackling Drake and an Is It Guild Mage. Oh, this is pretty good. Uh, it's actually a League Guild Mage rank, not an Is It Guild Mage. Uh, the Guild Mages aren't named after their their guilds in uh, Guilds of Ravnica. Okay. Thank you. I don't actually think it's Crackling Drake here. We don't have that many spells. This is 11 creatures out of 19 cards. One is an artifact. One is a planeswalker. So that's 13. So we should have six spells. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah, I like the Guild Mage better than the Drake here. Also paying four to, uh, why is he doing my voice? <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to take the guild mage. I think it's, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So let's say we have two spells in our graveyard. Crackling Drake as a 2-4 flyer for four mana that draws you a card is very, very good. It's also real, reasonably hard to cast in our deck, unfortunately, with Night Vale Predator. I probably just want this. <sighs> so both of these are good, right? But like, if we have spells to, to trigger this guy, I'd rather just have this guy. I don't think this guy is better than this guy. Oh, I like I like Glaive here a lot. I also like Cratermaker Goblin. I think it's either Goblin or Glaive. I think I think we can get some gates still on the Yeah, see that's what I mean. Like this guy's just not as good as the other cards we're playing. We also have two guild gates now. We can probably get more. We have a lot of two drops already. Yeah, I like Glaive. I think it's a good... Oh, yes. Demir Guildgate is perfect. Wow, another League Guild Mage? Jeez. 
And another Narcomeva. This is also two Narcomevas we've seen this draft. And an Electromancer. I'm going to take the second league Guild Mage for obvious reasons. Oh, I like a Disdainful Stroke. Also easily makes the cut at this point. I don't think it's another disdainful stroke here. Adept? I don't think Adept is that great. We also have a ton of two drops. I mean, I think Adept is fine, right? But we don't have a lot of creatures that we really want to make unblockable. So I don't... I think disdainful stroke having a way to deal with late creatures is uh, significantly better than a random 1-3 that makes our 2-2s two unblockable. Also, if I didn't know any better, I would say that an Adept can definitely come back. There's a Narcomiva. I'm probably going to play that over a second... Well, no, maybe second Whisper Agent's fine. I'm probably not going to... Yes! Guildgate. Great. Guild Great is more like it. I'll take Fire Urchin, whatever. So the other Drake did not come back. Triple Demir Guildgate and Demir Locket makes me pretty comfortable playing Night Vale Predator. Eh, Mesmerist is fine. Waiting for that pass while adept. Wary Okapi. Okay. Okay. Our house is a very, very, very fine house with two cats in the yard. So, we don't actually have a bunch of targets for this. I think we have one card that actually targets Beam Splitter, beam splitter Mage. So, I think that guy's hitting the bricks. I think everything else is great, though. Yeah, I'm okay with the rest of this deck. Put all you guys in here. Let's sort by color. Okay, these are all red. Blue is our base color, obviously. Okay, so four, five, six, seven black, three, four. No, that's not correct at all. Four, five, six, seven. We're gonna go to six black sources and a Demir locket. Six is a seven red, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, six. This is eight, six, eight, seven, six. Eight, seven, six, or nine, seven, seven. Yeah, I like that. That seems good. I'd play the Is It Locket over the field? What field? There's a, there's a field card in my deck? Oh, the electrostatic field? Maybe. Speak of the devil. I'll keep this hand. I won't love it. Any red and we're fine, though. This is an excited high that they gave, so... I'll... I like it. I like to sing a and the moon and the June and the spring. Drowned secrets. That's interesting. Oh, we're doing it. 
Are you ready? Any right now, we're fine. Apparently, Frank has never watched his stream before. That's fair. That's a good point. Piston Fist, whenever you cast a blue spell... Oh, we get milled. I thought this was the other one where, like, whenever you... Oh, there's a red. Uh, I thought this was the blue one or whenever you uh, surveil, you can surveil an extra time or something. Two gallons of milk arrived instead. <laughs> oh, sorry. We thought you said two gallons of milk. My bad. Yeah, it was nice. We washed down our whole chickens with the with the milk, so it worked out. It worked out well. Are you cast the? Yep, we're gonna keep. Wow, this is. Are they gonna kill us with drown secrets? It's gonna be two mountains. Oh, one mountain. Sure. There's two of our like seven red sources. Been watching on YouTube really first time catching the stream. Medium fan. My brother sometimes does shout outs to me in the chat, knowing I'll see you on YouTube later. <laughs> Kemsa, glad to hear it, buddy. Red mountain. Red mountain. Yes. <laughs> All right, so this guy is problematic. Just stop casting blue spells, that's all. We can actually go wall into Plague Crafter. What do they sacrifice? This guy? I guess that's fine. Or they sacrifice Pass Wall Adept. And then they make this guy a 1 2. And we'll trade here. I'll be fine with that. Or we can just sack the Plague Crafter and keep the wall alive, but then they make things unblockable. I don't want to take four, five, six, seven. So that doesn't seem good. So I feel like we do have to play crafter. The question is, which should we keep alive? Or we can just play wall and keep up disdainful stroke. Maybe. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, that seems fine. If we draw a land next turn, we can go Plague Crafter and keep up Risk Factor. So. Uh, I don't want to Risk plus Stroke because if they have a spell, then they deal a 7, and that's not really where I want to be in terms of... Alright, well, they're not attacking with the Piston Fist. Or anything, I guess. Well, that's sad. Second red here would have made a lot of difference. Being able to cast Risk Factor is pretty huge. Oh, fascinating. Alright, well, that's fine. That's That's where we want to be, boys. And girls, one, two, three. What's the verdict, Chief? I'm sure they'll take four here. Which is really five because of the wall. So if they hit a land, they can attack for 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. We can block here. We'll take 4, 8, 9. 
I think that's fine. We can also keep up Disdainful Stroke and Risk Factor number two. Which seems pretty good. They either take five or they take one and we draw three. What up, Grigrim? Grigrim? Oh, no spells. Okay, okay. Yep. Yeah, if they don't cast... Actually, we can just discard Maximize Velocity here. Did Mike come back and fall for the pop pie? No, Mike actually watched the clip. Um, I think it was the clip that you posted, actually, comically enough. He watched the clip and he saw that we didn't get pop pies. We saw he because we held up the chicken. I think they're gonna counter this. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, you posted on the Discord. That's probably what did it then. That's probably what did it. Oh, good times, good times. So they're at eight. <laughs> That's actually very good. And we get to queue up Disdainful Stroke. And this guy's actually pretty sizable. Yeah. You go to five, and now we have lethal in the air and a disdainful stroke for whatever you may, whatever shenanigans you may, uh, he's never, he doesn't talk, but he does check it, so he does, like, he gets notifications on his phone and he'll check the Discord, so, just because you don't know he's there does not mean he is not there. Pass while adept number two. I think he might be dead. But I think he wanted to see two more cards. So you saw a rat and a guild gate. I hope they don't. I think it's luck that we were, we just managed to piece together some flyers to kill them. But um, I don't really like Drown Secrets in the very heavy blue deck. Because I feel like it's, I feel like it's bad for us. Alright, now this guy's lethal. So is any, so is Radical Ideas. Got him. Get him today. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, in the future, whenever you're going to prank Mike, just don't post it to, uh, just don't post it to the Discord. That's all. Really something you should keep in mind. Thank you. Aliens for real. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome, welcome. Really appreciate the support. We did get a mythic in draft. We did indeed. And it's a good one too. It's a good one. I don't hate this hand, even though it's terrible. Glaive into Whisper Agent. It's just a thing we can do. I don't know. I'm probably gonna mill it. And by mill it, I mean mulligan it. I don't know. Who says mill it? I'm gonna mill this hand. Well, no one says that because it's not a real thing. I milled my hand. God, if you say it. If you also if you say main board you're part of the problem that is not a term Lafof what's going on buddy what's going on hey what's going on so now we have double black double blue and double red so any of our four mana boys are g2g
Well, that's sad. Put it in your side deck. What if I'm part of the main board of all? Well, that's fair. I love to say main board. Well, that's weird. Why? Like, what's what joy do you get out of saying made up words? Is my question. I suppose. I suppose that's what I'm asking. All right. So if we play this, we can throw this dude down and just get this guy out of the way. Um, if we play this now, next turn we can play this, and, or actually next turn we can play this and this and this. This mountain basically puts us off of this guy for one turn. If we play this and we don't draw either another island or swamp, then we don't get to play this guy for a while. So I think we're going to go with Guildgate here. We're going to take another two, but get a Guildgate out of the way. What about side deck? No, none of those are real terms. The official magic terms for Magic the Gathering are main deck and sideboard. It's it, it's not hard. There's just no reason to say main board. Like, it's just not a thing. It's like saying my side stash. <laughs> like, hey, I'm going to put 15 cards. It's in my side stash. Like, you could just make up any word for it you want, but that doesn't really make it a real term. What if I'm a surfer and I'm a friend of my favorite surf war? Well, that's that's not... We're not talking about that, though. We're talking about Magic the Gathering. <laughs> your man dad and your side dad. I What? Is your side dad not also a man? This is all very interesting. What's up, Alessio? I think you might be the only person with a side dad and a main and a man man dad. Oh, a main dad. Oh, see, that's much different than your man your your man dad. Main dad. Having this guy. Oh, this guy's really obnoxious for Ral though. Oh no. What if I live in Maine and I'm elected to board? Like, that, like isn't didn't, didn't that's the same thing that uh, Water Sports Drew just said? Listen, guys, listen. Also, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh has a side deck and an extra deck. You got actually multiple, multiple decks in Yu-Gi-Oh. So it, it feels very much like Yu-Gi-Oh when you call it a main board. Like, because when you when you when you talk about how many cards are in in your deck, you don't say I have a sixty card board, right? Like, because main board, main deck. So deck and board are the terms that are you're referring to the, um, to the to the collection of cards with, right? So you wouldn't say, I uh, standard is uh you you know to play standard you need a sixty card board. No one would say that. It's super weird because it's not called a board. This is nice because now they don't really do much on their turn. Uh, this is actually great for us because now we can take out this guy and then they have very little pressure for when we drop around next turn. Which is very, very nice. What if I'm a renegade cop who plays by his own rules? He's a renegade cop and plays by his own rules. No one can take his main board away. I mean, to be fair, it is totally semantics. It is definitely semantics. But semantics, I mean, semantics matter. Like... Yeah, what's going on? I have three cards. We have a Ral Zarek and a Night Vale Predator in hand. And I'm hoping they don't counter our things. Ooh, I, ooh, I like a Disdainful Stroke in case they have a four mana counter spell. However, we're not going to be able to cast it this turn. Thank you. I still like it though. Uh, one, two, three. We can actually just play lock it. <laughs> Valley man, thank you so much for the gifted sub to the spicy jalapeno. I always think of Mike's jalapeno children when they when I see that name. So, seems fitting. I guess we can actually play electrostatic field and night vale predator this turn. <laughs> High fives all around for a great joke. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. Are you the guy from Limited Resources? No. <laughs> So, oh my god. Are you the guy from that chat on Twitch that one time? Oh boy, which one is it? I don't know which one it is. I don't know what to do here. It's either just, I don't know what to do. I know they have Sinister Sabotage, but it's a little too late for that. I'm just going to take this. Secret Muffin, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. It's okay, Frank. You're my favorite sub for Magic. Thank you. I really appreciate it, buddy. Now, whenever you see my name, just know that I realized like three months ago that I spelled jalapeno wrong for all of my usernames. Six. Didn't we talk about that? I think you mentioned that. Oh, uh, black, black. All right. This is getting countered 100%. They didn't play anything. They have four mana. This dude is gone. It's not gone. All right, so our board is Ral Zarek, Night Veil Predator. And, you yeah, know, this guy. You forget the way it goes on here is, is no matter what you choose, the opponent has the exact counter. That's true. Lucky, 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 lucky. I mean, they didn't have it, and we got these two, so I feel like I'm the lucky one here. But this is some good, this is some good protection for Ral, and if they want to spend three a turn to deal one... I can confirm I am, in fact, that guy from the chat that one time. Yeah, I had a feeling about you. OMG Zoro, lots of things, lots of things. I leave for GP Denver tomorrow, so if you guys want to come hang out with me, just come find me and tell me who you are. Like, tell me your chat names, because I won't know if I just... If you're like, hey, I'm Eric from your stream, I'll be like, it does nothing for me. And not, it's not, not because I forgot or anything, it's just I have no I That's not, that's not a way to reference yourself. Don't do that. Are you mad? Are you as mad as I am that MG's only available on Windows? No, not really. I use Windows. I'm I'm like 99% of the population that uses Windows. So, and I had a MacBook and I just used Parallels for it, so it wasn't even that big of a deal. Oh yeah, that's an easy pick. All right, let's start dealing some damage before they mill us to death. So, boy, that's awkward. Hey, Frank, so on Water Sports 3. Yeah, so here's the thing. If you made that username and you're not even comfortable enough to say it out loud, maybe you made a mistake, Drew. Maybe you made a mistake. That's my theory. <laughs> How did you know my name was Eric from stream? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is this is why I love all of you. Doesn't Wallet live in Denver? Wasn't he like, hey, I'll buy you a beer if I go to if you go to, and I'll be like, no no, Diet Coke for me, good sir. I'm not a drinker. Format is Denver. Denver is team sealed. Team team guilds of Ravnica. And I bought a new suitcase, because I haven't bought a new suitcase in like fifteen years. And um, I'm excited about it. I've had the same like it's a Swiss gear. Like it's been it's been great for me. But um, I have not upgraded for quite some time. Do I want to kill that thing? Probably. Tireless tractor, that sounds awesome, dude. Oh, Billy, did you just figure out his username? <laughs> it's so bad, dude. It's so bad. Oh, I think we just glaive on this guy for six damage. Yeah, I like devious cover up, but I don't really feel like it's super necessary at this juncture. Why is the curtain moving? Hunter. Hunter is back there. 
He likes moving back and forth through the curtain and messing everything up. But he's a good boy, so. My suitcase finally bit on the last trip. The polycarbonate actually cracked. I'll have it giving a fitting send-off. Yeah, Kurt, it, it, that was a hell of a trip, though. So, I mean, what a trip for it to go on. What a, what a way to go out. I also, uh, yeah, so I went with this company called Away. A-W-A-Y. And uh, apparently it's like a startup company like, um, I don't know, like like MeUndies, for example, which you can get 15% off on along with free shipping and free returns by clicking on the link in the description below. And they're some of the most comfortable underwear, tees, uh, lounge pants, and socks that you can find. So uh, be sure to check that out if you guys are in the market. Really appreciate it, and it helps support the channel. So. I approve of a good boy moving the curtain. Me too. Me too. All right, so what is this, negative eight? Yeah. We're getting real close, boys. They can chemistry's insight. Eot. I'm just going to take Electromancer because YOLO. We'll drop a Frog Boy. And we'll drop a Grimmy. Grimmy? Goblin? Gob gobbly? Okay, I don't know how this works. What's untapped? Okay, this and this I need. There we go. Figured it out. My god, that was real touch and go for a bit. Oh, you're going to counter this guy. Well then. I see. Ooh <sighs> Oh, donation goal is gone. Where did you go, donation goal? Get in there. No one else is touching go, my last guy. <laughs> oh, it's so awkward. Listen, buddy, I hope you can get past this. I hope I hope in these in these difficult times you can find solace. You got it. You got it. I think they're gonna make two dudes unblockable just so we don't ultimate Ral. But uh we're gonna ultimate Ral. <laughs> oh man, Cosme, that's oof. <sighs> do we do we do? Baby back ribs. Barbecue sauce. Boop. I'm just going to radical ideas here. Radical. Look at this Ral emblem. Ba 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 min limited. Uh, one, two. Discard this. Right to your face. Right to your dome piece. Yay, that's all I was hanging around for. Oh, man. Good times. I appreciate that. Unless they're going to, like, redirect it to our face or something. Oh, they're going to tap our frog. Okay. I like it. I mean, I don't love it. But I accept it. Ral, is it Viceroy? Is colorless. <laughs> what? Is... Okay, well, that's something. I'll give him the good games. He seems friendly. For an expendable crewman. Right to the dome piece. Suck on these eggs, dome. Chrome dome. Who are you playing with in Team Sealed? Uh, I am. I had two friends from Seattle that I haven't seen in a couple years uh, invite me, and they were like, hey, we're going to the... We were thinking of going to Denver for the Team GP. Would you want to be our third? And I was like, yes, that sounds awesome. Because it was totally out of the blue, and it was super cool. Uh, I will keep this hand. It's hard to ship the hand with Ral Zarek in it. I don't ever want to... I don't ever call him Ral is advice for it. It's all just Ral Zarek, right? 
Turns out, yeah, drawing an extra card uh, every single turn while choosing which one it is is pretty good. Mountain? That's not a mountain. Why would you do this to me? Why would you do this? Yeah, so I heard from Gabby that it was snowing there uh, recently. Any any confirmation on this tireless tractor? Any uh, any confirmation on how I should how I should pack? Mountain. Okay. Well, we're on track to play Night Vale Predator. We're not on track to play Crackling Drake. So. You can call him Relizit. Just a couple of sets of MeUndies. You should be good. Dress for 60 inside, 50 outside. That's actually perfect. That sounds wonderful. Sure. Let's get whispering. It's a quick flesh and a handsome cape man. Done. Oh, you can go in the garbage can. Red. Oh, boy. I knew it. God, we were so good at this game. I think we just play Plague Crafter and make him sack this guy. And then we can get him for three. I like it. Because this, this is uh, very little pressure so that we can keep our Rally McZally. Nailed it. Never didn't. See, it's, it's less impressive when you say red every single turn and then it finally happens. Ooh, that is a card I don't actually care about. Congratulations, you've played something meaningless. I am afraid they're going to attack this guy and then put Ral down to three, but I guess that's not super scary because we can follow up with Electrostatic Field and play something else, presumably. But right now, we're going to get busy Ralin. Oh, planes, walker, but it believe you can get me through the night. See, we can't play both of these next turn, which is unfortunate. But we do get to look at two cards. So maybe we can play a... I gotta find a deal, way to deal with that guy, unfortunately. Command the Storm would be very nice. I would be thrilled about a Command the Storm here. Uh, deal. Okay, so no command the storm. This guy's an 04. Not impressive. I will chump block, though. And we get to look at three more top cards next turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are only five lands left in our 22-card deck. Less than 25% of our deck is now land. Uh, Ral? Yeah, we're 100% blocking. We have no instants or sorceries. and well, Only one guild gate, so making this guy 1-4 does not really seem super impressive to me. Plus, Ral's at 7 right now. That's pretty good. Command the storm. I just want to command the storm. We're not going to be able to command the storm. Take rat, I guess. One, two, three, four. We actually don't have enough for everything, huh? Whatever. This is fine. Man, I was so... So excited about being able to... Do the thing. 
I guess we can just keep up Devious Cover-Up. Ral will go to four, unfortunately, but then we'll go to five. We get to see another three cards. We've drawn a lot of lands here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen lands. Yikes. Uh, we'll shuffle in Drake, Plague Crafter, and I think that's it. Do you take friend requests on Facebook? I do, but um, I, I mean, if you send me a message and I and and let me know who you are, I I might. But otherwise, like, there's no point. You can just follow me on Facebook too, and it's the same thing, really. Like, I actually I took a I took a bunch of friend requests, which is why I have like four thousand Facebook friends. But then, like, um. It got to a point where, like, I don't need to know that, you know, this guy... Like, I've never met... I've never met most of the people that are that friend request me. So, like, I don't need to know that you're going to the store. I don't need to know that, you know, they didn't have milk or that your brother fell off his bike or, you know, like, whatever. Like, I just don't... It's it's not relevant to me. So, like, I get to, it gets to the point where, like, I accept your friend request, but then I'll unfollow you because I don't know you. So, like, I'm not super invested in your life. Not because of who you are, obviously, but just because I don't know you. You know? So... Yep, yeah, that's pretty much what we're looking for there. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't like that. I think we're one shy. Yeah, that's real sad. If we played this guy first, actually, we could have. No, we did play this. Do we not? Do we not play this guy first? One, two, and then one for the radical ideas, right? Yeah. So this is gonna cost four. Yeah, and then we're one shy with this stupid thing. Dang it. You know, too shy, shy, hush, hush, Ral can't die. <laughs> Aloha, brother. Thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Yeah, and then I end up getting, like, invites from, like, random people. Hey, we're having a two-box FNM in Minnesota, and I'm just like, why are you inviting me to this? <laughs> Not gonna... I can't go to this. We know I can't go to this. Um, I'm just going to take... Rock and go to one here. <laughs> wow. Kyle, that's really nice of your dad... Of your, uh, of your brother to check on Mike like that. Three instants and sorceries in the graveyard. Well... I don't think it matters here. Play field. Leapfrog, okay. One, two, three. All right, well, got our board pretty much secured. That's nice. It is one-to-one one currently. All their creatures are lethal against our Ral. Oh, were they going to play something there? Fascinating. Yep. Block, block, block. That feels correct. Just get to keep electrostatic field. Yep. Discard guild gate. Keeping Ral alive seems pretty relevant. Um. Yeah. 
take a guild mage, I guess. One, two. One, two. I don't know if this matters. We also have 10 cards in our deck. But they are good ones. It's Night Vale Predator, Crackling Drake, which is a lot bigger now. Another, is it Guild Mage? Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's only one land in our deck, actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 16 cards. Yeah, 16 lands, and th so there's one land in our deck. I'll donate five if you make your head 40% bigger for the rest of the draft. <laughs> Is that... why? Do, wait, explain it to me, and I will consider this, this offer. It's going to be it's gonna be Night Veil vale and Crackling Drake, you ready? I'm going to be real sad about it. Artful Takedown and Guild Mage. Um... Actually, kind of like the artful takedown here. Tap you, kill you. Just want a bigger Frank head. All right. Can I just make the whole thing bigger? So if I go like this, does it still count? Is that better? Is that, does that fulfill the criteria? <laughs> oh, good times. We can we can we can go bigger. There we go. Five big head bucks. I feel like you should have waited because I haven't done the whole draft yet, so I could uh I could renege on that. Oh, price of fame, killing my one guy. Well I'm running out of creatures here, man. I do not like this. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna lower it a little bit because you said forty percent. Oh, that's not what we want to do. We'll go about here. This seems this seems reasonable. So we go to six cards, and then with Ral we go to four cards. Let's just draw reasonable. If we just draw any of the Crackling Drake slash... I just want Crackling Drake slash Night Vale Predator to maximize and to glaive. Yep, Drake is what we want. And then we maximize velocity. And then we draw a card. Risk factor. Yeah, draw three, buddy. I dare you. C -c -c combo The combo bone's connected to the leg bone. The leg bone's connected to the death bone. And these are the rules of the game. The death bone's connected to the butt bone. Chicken bone's connected to the turtle bone. <sighs> Your deck seems good. These are the rules of the world. Big and small and big and small. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I'm just gonna submit like this I don't think we want any of these other stupid cards oh I can catch the rest of this on YouTube this deck looks it's been it's we're a 3-0 without a single loss so far last game was the closest when we, when we were, I felt like we were running out of creatures but I mean as long as one of our creatures was Night Vale Predator we would have been pretty good so what is this this is the second time you've linked this so I hope you're not demonetized <laughs> It's very good. 
Quacker. It's very good. I'm a fan. This hand is great. Oh, yeah, there you go. Every game. Every game with this guy. Ooh. Click the link, Frank. I heard, I clicked it. I come here to say, hear you say random shit. That's all I want to do with my life is just say random. Oh. Oh, that's sad. Wow, that's very good. If we drew this next turn... How lucky. Lucky, 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 lucky. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty large and in charge right now. They do see me rallying. This is not a hard. You just take this one and it'll all be up here in your little revealed zone. Don't make it harder than it has to be. Yep, there you go. I don't think I have any... Oh, I can Devious Cover-Up to get Ral back. That's pretty sweet. I'm a fan of that. Froggy, baby back ribs. Froggy's baby back ribs. Barbecue sauce. This is a this is a hell of a stream right here. We're having a good time. Oh, interesting. Be a guild gate. Oh, maximum maximum effort. Did you get a haircut? I did. I did get a haircut. Are you going to kill my friend? Frog friend, don't die. I want you to stay alive, my little frog friend. That's that's basically nothing. You did nothing. I bet you would eat frog on stream. You totally would. That's such a that's a rob thing. Hey, Tijo, leave that froggy boy alone. All in all, it's just a another frog in the wall. I keep feeling like I hit end, and I don't want to like hit it a second time, and then. Have my turn get ruined. If it's a mountain, we're keeping it. Yes. Because now we can go Electromancer into Maximum Velocity or into Risk Factor, which is super nice. Yeah, this seems good. Don't, don't you forget about me. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, 512 subs? Man, you guys are killing it. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Take four. Take your, take your medicine take your medicine yep they always do oh they discarded a night veil predator this is what they surveilled into the graveyard fascinating fascinating 
Doom Whisper? Deadly Visit. Okay. This is all fine. I'm not like... I don't feel like I'm terribly out of step here. Five, yeah. Uh, there's a re there's connive concoct which does reanimate, but I mean I'd still rather have two night veil predators play one. Like if you're gonna deadly visit, isn't it just better to night veil predator? Isn't that the same? Like do you just block? Like I don't know. It seems like a removal spell, right? It also prevents these guys from attacking at all. <laughs> just heard this year's Xmas Christmas party at work as a superhero theme party. Who should I dress as? Uh, the Winter Soldier. Don't you forget about me. Oh, it's actually cost one. That's great. I forgot that I have two of these guys in my hand. They went to four? Ooh, biscuits. Biscuits and gravy. This is just an O3 wall interesting hmm oh i had this guy in my hand since the beginning that's interesting that's interesting I like that. That's good. That's solid strategy. So we don't get anything out of attacking here. I guess we could just play this guy and sack. If we sack it to one of these, to, to them, like we're just going to eat one and they take two and go to two. Oh, I totally forgot to take the pick, dude. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. They're at four. That's pretty good. Yep, that's fine. Interesting. Don't you walk on by. Well, now we have to play this guy. It's rough. That's a good one. Okay, so they just have a bunch of dudes and we don't have any dudes. We are dudeless. No attacks there at all. That's interesting to me. Yeah, I'm just going to take this. I like the big version of you today, although it just... <laughs> yeah, so actually this is Kerwitz doing. So if you guys are uh, 
Okay, there's a lot of creatures that they're playing. I'm pretty sure we're just going to draw the 0-4 wall now. Disdainful Stroke, where were you last turn? These are the questions, and we can't actually crack this for anything. Actually, if we had a... Uh, one, two, three... If we drew Crackling Drake, it would be a 3-4 flyer right now, and we can maximize velocity, make it a 4-4, four, four, but... Um, I feel like we just fell way too far behind. We had a lot of pressure. I think we were doing very good, but then they stabilized, like you do. I don't think we have any way to deal 6 damage, which is soon to be 8 damage. It feels like you're taking up the same amount of screen space as one regular Frank and two mics. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's factual. Don't you forget about me. Yeah, if they didn't, ha if they literally, like, this changed the entire course of the game. We had to draw Ral Zarek the turn before they thought erasured us. Unfortunate. I feel like our, our time is coming to an end here. This is the end. So what do we take? 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. My only friend, the end. Oh, that would have been nice. Fashionably to the party, but nice nonetheless. I wonder if we just want a book devourer here, just as another threat. Maybe we take out the Plague Crafter. I've never felt good about casting Plague Crafter against them. Wow, we only lost two matches yesterday on stream. That's pretty insane. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. It's a little slow, but we're on point to we're on. We're definitely going to be able to play this guy if we draw any black or blue, and uh, three guild gates with a glaive is pretty nuts. Plus, even putting on a rat, it's a four one with with menace. So, okay, and this is a pretty substantial combo. This is the end of my only friend, the end. I actually like rat into glaive into tap tap. Yeah, let's do that. Three one in, in constructed, five one in draft, and one zero versus the whole chicken. <laughs> yeah, you you uh you definitely you were definitely the victor there, in Chicken Gate. This card seems so bad, especially because we boarded out the Plague Crafter. Never to look into your eyes again. Two out of ten bitches, though. That's correct. So next time we can put Glaive on, play this. Equip Glaive, play this. And we'll still have next turn we can Night Veil Predator, which is pretty nuts. That was 100% less thought erasures than I expected them to play. Yeah. Well, joke's on them. Whatever that means.
Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm okay with that. So we can actually equip here, start the, the damage train. Look at this rat. This is a powerful rat wielding a sword. This is my rat. It's wielding a sword. That's a rat wielding a sword song. I, I can't... I can't say that it's some of my finer work, but, you know, it does... It's a rat wielding a sword. It, does, it speaks for itself, you know what I mean? So I just heard from uh, my, my teammate Mike uh, that it's actually sunny there right now in Denver, which they got there today, so that's pretty sweet. Looking forward to that. Any land so I can just kill this guy. No, you don't want to give me that land? Okay. Just got here. Did you guys end up eating the chicken? Um, Rob did, who's in the chat right now. Oh, another four, huh? Okay. Any any red land would be great. Then we can keep Hypothesis and Crackling Drake easily discard a Demir Locket. <laughs> that is the child of the night. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Uh, tap you. Kill you. See if this works. Fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen. We haven't seen a counterspell out of them, so... Oh, that's pretty good. All right. Well, this is where they trade with the rat after eight damage. Seems good. They also have one card in hand. Oh man, this is looking good for us. Yeah. Two and two. Guildgate that turn would have been good, but you know what? You, you take your you take your wins where you can get them. Now we have a six three unblockable guy. If I can get a land, it'd be great because then we can go one two three Guildgate into or uh, land Demir into Locket into Glaive equip. That was good. All right, so now we can go one two three Locket, pop it and Locket equip the Glaive. And this should be a pretty, pretty sweet threat. You take the good, you take the bad, and they, the facts of life, the facts of life, is a minute. you take the good, you take the bad, you take it all, and then you have the facts of life. I don't know what they can actually have. They have to have a flyer, but we have hypothesis -al. Um, I think they're just dead to this guy. They do get a turn from this guy, which we will block. Yeah, they could have Plague Crafter, but I don't foresee that happening. Oh, their own Night Veil Predator. Okay. Oh, it's got Menace, though. What you gonna do about my Menace, bruh? One, two, three. We have six mana. Okay. I wish we could deal one more damage. So we take nine on the crackback if we don't play anything. So I guess we just play something, right? <laughs> I'm so bad at magic. Oh, man. I'm so bad at this game. God, if that costs us. If they have a flyer. God, 
I don't want to discard the Drake because if we draw any mountain, we have a flyer again. And I really like if we get to a point where we have to block this guy, I just want to have a flyer. So, all right, they get a draw. I feel stupid. I could have killed them. That was so bad. And they can't. Oh, they have to dig, but they have one mana left. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think that's game. Wow, that was so dumb. All right. Whew. Whew. I wish my head wasn't so big. Then we would have been fine. It's thick head day. I agree. Who's the ogre and what if you don't? <laughs> wow. Wow. Painful. Check out the big brain on bread. You just mama the trucker. That's right. Oh, big kahuna burger. Yeah, that's that new Hawaiian burger joint. I'm going to play first. Yeah, this is fine. This has all the things I want. I do enjoy a tasty burger. See, my girlfriend's vegetarian, which pretty much makes me a vegetarian. But I do enjoy a tasty burger. What, what, what kind of burger is it? Uh, cheeseburger. No, no, like, where's it from? In-N-Out, Jack in the Box, Wendy's. Uh, Big Kahuna Burger. Big Kahuna Burger! Oh, that's that new Hawaiian burger joint. What are you drinking? Uh, sp Sprite? Sprite. Do you mind if I have some of your tasty beverage to wash down my food? Yes, I did see the, the Samuel L. Jackson Brett Kavanaugh. That was pretty, pretty hilarious. I was a fan. facts of life the facts of life I don't actually care if this guy gets traded yeah that's fine two drop for two drop I think our frog boy is worth a little bit more yeah once we get another black source we can literally we can do anything we can do magic. Do, do, do. We'll play another blue here because reasons. Uh, because now if we draw a crackling drake, we can play with a mountain. If we draw a knife elf predator, we can play with a swamp. So, double blue is the common thread for all of our things. Oh, well, that's radical. Should have probably played this first to see if we hit a guild gate. No, no blockies. Okay. Okay, that's actually fine. I feel better about my decision. Oh, whatever this is. Oh, I was like, whatever this is, I'm going to counter it. But then they just cracked it, so. Okay. 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 Is this frog going to go the distance? Get busy leaping. 
This one leapfrog is, has done 9 damage so far. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's fine. Don't hurt my frog. He doesn't deserve it. He's going the distance. He's jumping off trees. All right, well. Let's get in there. We're definitely going to radical ideas here and discard a Montagna. Are you going to do more to my frog? Wow, that's so rude. That's a one for none. He's going the distance. Good afternoon. I see you have been to the bar. Yeah, I did. I did. I did get a haircut today. That is correct. I did get a haircut. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that guy. Give me a crackling Drake so I can maximize velocity on it. And we can just go ham. You seem closer? Yeah, I had to make it bigger because Kerwit was like, hey, if you make yourself 40% larger during this draft, I'll donate $5. And I was like, okay. So that's why we're a little larger. We're going to go back to our normal size afterwards. So you guys can't. You can see my graveyard there if I move my head. I guess I could pop it out too. Yeah, that's probably better for everybody, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll just command the storm on this guy. Three, four. Yeah, it was five forty percent larger bucks. That is correct. That was the. Uh... Oh no. Oh well, all right. So be it. I guess we're just gonna keep on going. Yeah, Heineken's and Jaeger bombs all night. Just check out my new haircut. Ma, the protein! Wow, that's an old that's an old meme. I'm actually probably going to crack this thing now. Sonic Sonic Assault this guy again? Okay. Boy, this this frog is really really getting his his life chopped chopped up. I just woke up from crashing on the couch after my grandpa's funeral. Oh man. Pernicious dude, sorry buddy. When will the standard portion? I don't know. I don't even know if I'm playing standard. I'll probably play some standard. I'll probably play some standard. Oh, look at this guy. Alright. So if we can draw like Night Veil Predator into maximized velocity, we can just get in there for eight. Nine. Oh god. So much damage, dude. Goodbye, leapfrog. Oh, brutal. That can't be countered. Use the mana in the pool. The mana in the... Oh, that's what we're talking about. This is how it works out. It's 
So four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's good. Did you ever know that you're my froggy? You've dealt all the damage I could want. Standard and some drought. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I wrote that and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to play standard today. And I was like, eh, I don't want to change it now. Because maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I don't know. It's a real, it's a real emotional roller coaster. What do they have in the graveyard? Radical ideas. And that's it. Okay. That's nice. How big can they make this guy? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's actually a lot of damage. Five. They can pump two more times. Six and nine, ten, eleven. So this is ten damage. I don't think they can deal six with these three. Can they? You can't deal six for three mana in this format, right? a lot of damage oh gravitic punch would be insane i guess we're just dead no they just radical ideas okay Woof. Woof. so what we can do is play guild mage and then they have to have two removal spells because three of these guys are lethal, and these guys fly. They could Sonic, but that only taps one guy down. So yeah, this is pretty good. All right, good enough to win. I saw a video for a sweet standard deck you can play. Let's let me take a gander. Oh, I see. <laughs> you you linked me to my own video. Now I'm gonna get demonetized from myself. That's unbelievable. That's very impressive. All right, so they're playing is it nerds dot deck. I still don't think we need anything from our sideboard here. I mean, they only had two mana, which is kind of like three mana. It's actually like four if they have two two mana spells. This hand is great. Turn two rat into turn three leapfrog, and the risk factor is where you want to be. And we're going to draw Demir Guildgate. That's kind of like a Demir Guildgate. Maybe. I tried Arena for the first time today. It ain't bad. Yeah, that's what I hear. I mean, like, I hear it's fine. I don't have any pressing issues with Arena. I imagine they took care of a lot of the... the awkwardness that uh, was present. Okay, well, we're on the right track here. Get burgled on. So this lady I've been seeing for a little while is coming over tonight and I clean my room and wash my sheets so as not to be a gross piece of crap. Well, I dropped some chocolate on the sheets, which created a lovely stain reminiscent of a certain other type of stain. And in trying to clean that up, spilled my coffee with milk and it all over the room. This is going well. <laughs> so, Juposhi, if I have this correctly, you shit your sheets and then, in an attempt to cover that up, you spilled coffee all over the place. That's right. That's good. That's good. That is something. We can either frog or whisper agent. I kind of like whisper agent, but this guy's problematic. <laughs> See, they said about a 2 1. Oh boy. I'm going to keep whisper agent. See, when the biggest when the biggest support of Arena is to say Arena is fine, like I don't know, that's not resounding. Like if someone was like, How was how was Avengers Infinity War? I'd be like, Avengers Infinity War is fine. 
Uh, I would say it's fantastic. I had a super good time. I loved all the characters and the build-up and the storyline, and it was great. That's what I would say about Avengers Infinity War. I would not say it's fine. I'm going to play this guy now in case they just happen to have Sinister Strike in hand. Sinister Sabotage, rather. Um, I am going to keep this. Because we need a second black for Night Vale Predator. And we're at a point where, like, I don't mind having excess lands because of risk factor, so... Is everything I would like to be? I mean, if you want to trade for Electromancer, that is 100% okay. I did not think you would. <laughs> it's going to be a Sonic tap this guy down. Attack with everybody. Oh. Cosmotronic Wave instead. Yep, that seems pretty good. Take eight, because this is how the Izzet decks work. They just literally crush you. Yeah, that's actually pretty okay. You have two cards in hand. That seems fine. We need one more blue in order to get the Night Vale Predator online. Predator online. I guess we'll just deal three. That move is stupid. I mean, the effects are great and all, but the storyline... Well, that doesn't even make any sense. Also, why would you be surprised that I loved Infinity War? Because a lot of people loved Infinity War. Like, that doesn't even make any sense that you'd be surprised by it. I'm so shocked that a movie that has a, a an 8.6 on IMDb and 95% liked it is uh, you didn't like. That's shocking to me. That doesn't, doesn't really... It doesn't really work like that, unfortunately. So what is this? Are we dead? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, all right. That's going to be the end. just assumed you had good taste but i guess i was wrong holy smokes wow a movie that got 84 percent on rotten tomato <laughs> okay man you got it you got it I'm taking two creatures that die to Cosmotronic Wave and to uh, Switch and Power and Toughness. And bring in a couple of 1-3s. couple... Oh, whew, yes. Keep. Snap, keep. Sneep. Sneeples. So still damage equals number of exile? Oh, I like that a lot. That's nice. It hasn't come up, but it makes sense. It's weird to not agree with my opinion. Like, the movie has a 91% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes and an 84% on, as far as critics score. Like, to make it seem like it's my opinion that the movie was good is, is kind of silly. You're clearly in the minority here, which is the strange thing. Like... It's not like I liked this really obscure movie that wasn't very popular and was critically panned. Like, this is a very popular movie that, that got very good reviews. Also, as far as movies go, 
um it doesn't have any real problems the the plot makes sense it's cohesive there's no like the acting is good the the actors are good the story is good like it there's no traditional issues that this movie has uh that that you find in most movies that that are that are not good right like it's not like it doesn't have a good arc or it doesn't have i mean I hope this is something bad. Oh, that's very good for us. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to we're going to rowl and then we're probably going to take over Magic the Gathering. Oh, uh, we were talking about Avengers Infinity War. One, two, three, one, two, three. This is going to be five, so we're not going to be able to cast anything with that. I think we just take Whisper Age in here. This also makes Ral better, so. And I hate it when movies do that. Way to go, movie. Thanks a lot for not letting me see you yet. Okay, very cohesive. Don't start out with like a condescending, like sarcastic remark if you want me to take your argument seriously. We won't trade lives, so we won't kill a vision. Rather, we will bring him to Wakanda where who knows how many Wakandans will die fighting off Thanos while we smoothly remove the Mind Stone, even though we know we're on a clock. What doesn't make sense about that? Like, you go to Wakanda because it's the most technologically advanced city in the MCU. It's the most technically a lot technologically advanced area. They have, if there's any place you can go to protect people, that's where you go and you're not trading lives simply because you're fighting the bad guy that's coming to your planet no matter what right like the alternative to not trading lives is literally just not fighting the war which makes no sense would you do that is that what you would prefer i would prefer you not fight this war because people will die well you don't really have that option like that's why the U united states of america an actual government doesn't negotiate with terrorists that's not to say we won't fight a war if it comes to our door we still fight. If someone starts a war with us, we're still going to fight back. But we're not going to negotiate with terrorists. Those are two completely different theories. Those are two completely different things. So we can kill this guy. I guess we're just... You think if the Scarlet Witch killed the Vision, it would... Like, how does that end anything, though? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That doesn't even really make sense. I don't understand. Like, if Steve Rogers agreed to kill the Vision, you're going against his entire character. Like, that's not who Captain America is. So, like, you're saying, man, I really wish they betrayed the spirit of this character who's been around for 80 years to make the movie better to me. Which doesn't really make sense. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, don't mute people because we're having a discussion, especially if they're subs. Please don't do that. Oh, I, I don't... Oh, okay. I thought you were like... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Eh, I think we're just commanding this to him, this guy. Oh, my God. All right. I'll click the link. Okay, hold on. That don't make no sense. <laughs> That's a solid bro brother art thou meme there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually play this and this next turn, which is nice. 
I had a major emergency surgery a month ago, and watching your videos is great during recovery. Thank you so much, Misfit. Really appreciate that. That is quite the compliment. Steve seems Steve's not okay with people dying. Like, what do you, I don't know what you're talking about. Why do you think acknowledging that a war has to be fought is the same with being okay with people dying? There's a difference between fighting for your your planet and literally handing murdering someone to hand them over to someone who's trying to to terrorize you. Do you see those as the same thing? That isn't even close to the same thing. It's like if there's a terrorist that said, "Give me one million dollars, uh, give me, give me, give me the president of the United States, or I will come destroy your planet." Like you're not gonna give them the president. You're gonna defend your planet. Like it, I don't like it. Doesn't make any sense. Like I'm gonna kill this guy now. If they have a counter spell, I'm in bad shape, and I'll cry. But what can you do? No, I have not been this big. Uh, this was a Kerwitz said, make yourself 40% bigger and I'll donate $5. And then he did that. So here we are. Oh, I don't have it. Sinister Sabotage. Don't have it. I don't want you to have it. Oh, do we just get to kill it? All right, cool. Oh, that's fine. So next time we get to play two threats, and Ralph should be at three, I think. Like, I don't understand how, like, how, like, being, accepting the fact that you have to fight a war. I have to fight this war or else the friggin' planet gets destroyed. And, like, acknowledging that, okay, the citizens of this planet are gonna fight because they have to. I don't see how that's the same as let's hand this living being over or let's murder this living being so they can't get their hands on it. Like I don't Like you're 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 saying that the 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 plot hole is that Steve Rogers was true to his character? Greetings from New York. I heard that you posted your cube on stream. I wasn't watching. Would it be possible to see it again? Yeah, I'll I'll do this command called Frank's Cube. And then you can see it. Boom. Anyway. I'm gonna, like, I don't think, also, that one plot hole is does not make a bad movie. I, I don't think, like, you can be like, oh, well, he did this one thing I didn't like, and that's not good. No, it's a bad movie. That isn't how that works at all. Do we see all our options first? What do they got, five cards? That's so many. Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna have a plus Ral here. Rally McZally. Oh, I like a disdainful stroke here. Let's do that. I guess we play this in keep up stroke and keep up whisper agent. I guess we could have hypothesized this guy. The whole reason why they went to Wakanda was because Steve didn't want to kill Vision to destroy the Mind Stone. Sure, I get that. Because it's the most protected country. It's the most protected and well-hidden country on the planet. So, makes sense. But he was okay with Wakandans fighting and dying to protect Vision. They're, they're fighting and dying to protect the, the planet. <laughs> like, that's also not the same as sacrificing someone. He's going to come anyway. Uh, Dormammu is definitely not more powerful than Thanos, especially if Thanos has five of the Infinity Gems. All right, so this seems fine. I don't love it, but it's fine. Yeah, it sounds to me like you just don't like you. You're just not super familiar with Marvel characters. That's that's the thing that I'm, I'm getting from this. Um, I kind of like countering this, but I kind of don't as well. That's fine. Whatever. Draw your cards. Oh, he only had three. Only had three in Infinity Stones. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Yeah, that we will. Disdainful Stroke. I feel like we're in... I feel like we're actually in bad shape despite having a RAL.
Man, this is getting... It's getting hectic. They have six cards in hand. We have a Ral and a Crackling Drake. If they have, like... Interesting, all right. Ideally, you have four lands. Mine is a 5-4. His Theirs is a 3-4, so... Unexplained. Yep, Ral dies. That's sad. I feel like I should have hypothesis the last turn, but I think we can still one, two, three, four, five. I think we still do do the work here. Yeah, that's whatever. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know how you can disagree about Captain America's character. Like, that's not up for debate. It's not like I disagree that he... I mean, you can disagree that he should do that, but it's not untrue to his character. Ricey Lack, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I mean, you're welcome to be like, I don't like that he did that, but it's not... It's he, He's not... You can't really disagree. What? Why didn't these... No, hold on. What's going on? Click you target you pay oh that's why i always try to pay them i always try to target first when it's actually a <sighs> glaive one two three four five six seven eight nine so we can go one two three four five six seven I mean, I think I feel like the argument you're making is that I don't like that Captain America uh, was completely true to his character because I would have made a different decision than he made in the movie. Like, it doesn't sound like you have a problem with the movie. It sounds like you have a problem with the decision Captain America made, um, which is doesn't really affect the movie. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. I'm going to get rid of Guild Mage, I think. Spoilers. Yeah, if you haven't seen Avengers Infinity War after seven months... I feel like you have uh, your your windows closed, my friend. I mean, you're welcome to not have seen it. I'm I'm saying that's fine. Uh, I'm saying that it's it, you've kind of passed the the window of not having it spoiled for you yeah that card's annoying i got yelled at on thursday night draft about spoilers in the movie like two months ago yeah well those people are yeah no that's not it came out when May? I think it came out in May, right? Uh, in theaters, April. May, June, July, August, September, October. It's been six months. That's not reasonable. You can go. You're not really doing it. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Yeah, we can actually play Glaive of Two next turn. Let's block this guy because he's actually pretty terrifying at this point. I don't. Oh my god, I don't understand how you keep getting on this. Trading lives, giving a terrorist the thing that they're asking for is not the same. Murdering someone because a terrorist can get their hands on something that person has is literally A, out of Captain America's character, and not the same as an entire nation of people willingly willing to fight for that person so that he doesn't die. It's not the same at all, and I don't know why you keep comparing them. That's like the fourth time you've compared the two, and it just doesn't make any sense. So 
So one, two, three. And we have one, two, three. So we can go. Hmm. Like those are not the same. Like they're not. They're not the same thing. Like it's. They're two totally different things based on two totally different sets of, of values and morals. Like it doesn't. Sonic assault, my Drake. You got it. So I'll take four here. That was the second one, right? Yeah. All right. Cool. 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 Also, like, it's ridiculous that one decision like that would really affect your opinion of an entire movie. Like, that's crazy. If you can't appreciate the buildup of this movie with the past, like, literal ten years of Marvel, Marvel movie history that has that has come before it to, to make this movie happen, um, and you're going to be like, well, Captain America should have murdered the Vision. Like, okay, well, I'm really... I, we're not going to agree then. <laughs> like, that's just kind of silly to, to be that, that's, that rigid in your... in your preferences, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We're still at nine, and they have two cards. So once we can go one, two, th I guess we don't have any red cards. We can go Demir Locket. We'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. We can go Locket. Do they have anything in the graveyard? No. Okay. Really? <sighs> it's super annoying. I'm rolling my eyes. Hmm. <sighs> Yep. I did read the doc. I literally had a response to the Doctor Strange part. How did I not read that? So okay, Doctor Strange uh, didn't trap him, and you literally have no idea if that's even possible based on the Marvel Universe because it's all loosely defined. You don't know if that would work. So Doctor Strange didn't trap Thanos in a time warp forever for the rest of time, uh, literally for the rest of his life because you'd have to do that, and y you would literally die there. Or never die, I guess. Um, and your other criticism was the Captain America didn't betray his character. So those are your two criticisms uh, about an entire movie. Okay. Uh, both. Uh, tap a bird. Kill this guy. I mean, tapping the 1-5 or tapping a bird doesn't really do much. It's not really that big of a difference. We take three here. I don't think they have anything in the graveyard. Doctor Strange also looked at like 14 million different timelines. Like, wouldn't that tell you as a viewer of the movie that one of those timelines was where he... Cool. Yeah, obviously. Um, wouldn't, that one of the, wouldn't one of those timelines tell you that he looked at 14 million different timelines or whatever... Wouldn't one of them been of the one where he traps them in a in the, with a time stone, and it didn't work? I would imagine of fourteen million, that's probably one of them he looked at. So, I I don't really yeah like that's that's you being that feels like it's you being wrong there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you didn't get too bogged down with the Infinity Wars uh, criticisms. Apparently, six months after the movie has been out. But I uh, really appreciate the support. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. And if you want to check out some sweet, sweet wardrobe accessories like socks, undies, uh, lounge pants, and tees, you can go to meundies.com slash franklapore. You get a 15% discount, and you get free shipping and returns, uh, which definitely helps both of us out. So be sure to check that out. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it.